सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ब्लेड टेम्परेटिंग सो वट ब्लेड टेम्परेटिंग मीन इन लार एवेल एंड दैट इज लेट्स लेट्स कंसिडर दिस एग्जाम्पल सो वी हैव दिस एडमिन एंड थ्री डिस्प्ले स्क्रीन एट द मोमेंट सो हियर इन एवरी एप्लीकेशन और वर्क पेज देर वुड बी ए कॉमन कम्पोनेंट एंड अनकॉमन कम्पोनेंट दैट वुड बी डायनामिक सो डायनामिक मीन्स इट वुड बी चेंज विथ एवरी व्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इन क्रिएट इट वुड बी डिफरेंट फॉर एडिट इट वुड बी डिफरेंट एंड ऑल्सो इंडेक्स इट वुड बी डिफरेंट सो बट सर्टन कम्पोनेंट ऑफ एनी एप्लीकेशन वुड बी कॉमन वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन हेयर साइड बार वुड बी कॉमन हेडर वुड बी कॉमन एंड फोटो वुड बी कॉमन सो In Laravel, we will be working on manage, managing managing this component, common component, in separate file and yeah. and include or extend them in our separate file. For example, dashboard, categories, etc. So, what is the benefit of that? So, benefit is that whenever we make certain change to sidebar one sidebar file, it will be reflected on all the side all the files that include or extend those files. So. You don't have to write an hundred hundred times in sidebar file. So, so one side why will do the job right job for every file you include it. So for that, let's create our dashboard route, and dashboard route view will be admin dashboard index. That is admin inside admin folder dashboard folder, and let's create index of blade of PSP. Now this is a basic. Uh, this is a blit syntax. First, extend admin dot layout dot app. That is admin dot layout dot file. This is a main file we have. We have been working, working on this admin route. So all the file is here. So we're gonna break down this to our common file. Then contain. So this is a dynamic file that will be changed in every page. So let me. So let's check if it's if it's working or not. So route is dashboard. So let's go to browser and type dashboard. So it's working and this is. So now go to app dot blade dot psp. Cut all the file. Go to add dot bit dot psp. Now, this was for footer. Now let me go one by one. This for secret sidebar. Right, it is a sidebar. Sidebar Alexander Pierce. Let me double check it. Alexander page. So this is the sidebar section. So this is the sidebar section. Let's cut it and paste it on sidebar. Now, we need to include it. Go to add dot grid. Now, include. Admin dot app dot sidebar. So let me show you how it is. How it, what is the? Uh, just we did. So now, this is a dashboard file, which is extending app dot blade dot psp. Now go to app dot blade dot psp. We just created this sidebar include. If we comment it. That bar will be gone. So, same do same for footer. Right, this is the footer part. Copy all the thing below this footer, cut it, and paste it on footer dot blade dot psp. Now go to app dot blade dot psp and include it. Admin dot footer. 
So again, refresh the page, there is a sidebar and there is a footer. Come it down. Footer will be gone. So again, do, it, do this. So now we have, we can also separate our header file. So this is an app, I think. Home contact. Home contact. So let me see, let us separate this part as well. So this is the main part. So we can, what we can do is we can just cut all the part here and go to header.php, then go to app.blade.php and include here admin. Le sorry. Layers dot header. Okay. All right, it's working. So now we need to find this dashboard. All right, so this is the dashboard and home dashboard. More info, bounce rate. All right, this is the part we're looking for. So this is a main content file. So you can just go and cut it. Cut this whole section, then include, then make it like yield, yield then give it a name contain so this part will be different in every page so we need to make it as a blade template so go to index.blade.ps so this is a part every that will be changing in every page so what we just did is we extended our file from layouts.app so layout.app so what this file is, it has include that of header, sidebar, and footer. So now we have separate file that is easy to manage and code. So go to our dashboard. Now everything is looking the same, but let me show you what is a different part here. So in admin, if you come in content, then this section will be gone. So these are the common files coming from layouts, footer, header, and sidebar. So what is the benefit here is that if you need to change the footer file and you have pages, then you can change this file and change make a change in this footer the or PHP and all the changes will be reflected in on data or two or data or many file linked files. Also, same goes for header and sidebar. So this is the convenient way of making a blade template in Laravel. So let me communicate. Let's take it back. So go to app.blade.php and uncombine it. Now it's dashboard. Also, uh, let's clear it. Go to sidebar. Search for dashboard. Dashboard and I don't need this dashboard thing. Widget. Let me let it be a widget, but I don't think I need charts UI elements charts. Let's go of it as well. Charts. All right, I don't need table. No, I'm on table. General form table. This. And delete it as well. Then sorts. Calendar. Extra. So let's delete this as well. Hmm. 
And the other options with it. I don't need to with it. All right. So now it's a bit. So let's remove this as well. I don't need it. I don't need it. Um, I don't need it as well. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it as well. Running as well. So let's delete everything from here. Not example. Simple source array from this. This as well. Charts. Load admin entry. You load admin entry. Let's remove that alert as well. Might be in footer. I'm gonna find it on next video. So layout option charts. I'll just remove layout option as well. Dashboard, let's remove that as well. That's not looking great. Let's name it dashboard and remove this dashboard. All right, so now it's looking a bit cleaner. So that is that's for it for your templating in Laravel.